We'll go, we'll go at um, start 19, okay? So chapter 7, verse 19, okay? And it states, Then I would know the truth of the fourth beast, which was diverse from all the others, exceeding dreadful, whose teeth are of iron, nails of brass, which devoured broken pieces and stamped with the residue of his feet. Go to verse 21. And I beheld the same horn, made war with the saints, and prevailed against him. Now, we know that there's a war that has ensued against the saints. What war is that? And what will the devil use in order to institute this war? I think that the what, what, what he's doing here will shock you. Remember the story of the Trojan horse. The Trojan horse job was to infiltrate his enemy by something so unsuspected that his adversary wouldn't know and would receive it willingly. This, this now has some synonymous active going on so we are to receive something that we are supposed to not know about always remember when they were asking of signs from jesus christ yeshua the messiah what did he what did he speak to them he said no sign will be given to you but of the prophet jonah how they went against jonah when he preached to them the truth this is what's happening even till this day the truth is out there but those that listen to it disregard it as nothing because they're waiting for the devil himself to tell them i'm the antichrist and this is the mark of the beast this is what people are waiting for which blows my mind no sign is going to be given, ladies and gentlemen. You have to use your spiritual discernment. And it is those with the spiritual discernment, which is a gift bestowed upon every single man on the earth that chooses to believe in order to work your discernment and know what is here, what has been working against you and what is coming to a head right now. Okay. If we go into Revelation 13, Okay, Revelation 13 talks about two beasts. Okay, let's break this down a little bit. Revelation 13 talks about two beasts. Okay, one beast that comes up on the scene is a beast that has been given 42 months in order to set up. Okay, now, if we go into chapter 13... We know that that beast is worshipped by those that have not been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. What constitutes you being written in the Lamb's Book of Life? You have to believe in the Lamb, right? You have to be baptized by the Holy Spirit and fire given to you by Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah. Then at that baptism... You are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. How many people do you know that are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life and have agreed to fall for the devices of Satan? Because it is what it is. If you're not following the Lamb, you're following the spirit of error. Okay? So we have that first beast that comes out and is given 42 months to operate ushering in the next beast which is listed in Revelation let me see here Revelation 13 and 11 right 13 and 11 so in Revelation 13 7 again it states and it was given to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and power was given to him over all 
kindreds, tongues, and nations. Is that not what's going on now? There's a power given to Satan over every kindred, every kind, every tongue language, and every race, nations. Think about what that power might be. This is the only time in history we've ever seen this type of power sweeping and devouring the earth. And what is that power? Something to ask yourself. The second beast that comes in, okay? In verse 11, and it states, And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb and spake as a dragon. Okay? Now we could go into who we believe the two horns are. But all we have to look at in that passage is it spake as a dragon. Okay? We know through our scriptures, of course, that Satan speaks through people. Okay? The two horns of a lamb states that it, it's an individual that looks authentic. It's an individual that looks authentic but has the internals of a devil. Think about who is propagating the experimental vax to the world. And why is it mandated? These are things we have to understand. And I'm talking about those whose discernment is not up to par as yet. Because those who are able to see this know already. I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking to those. Okay, I'm not talking to those. I'm talking to those who are on the fence. On the fence and unknowingly are receiving something that they do not need. Because it is your father in heaven that controls what is going to happen to you anyway.